from FewNation.com, this is Mark Josie. So after a lot of guns review today, we're going to get into some blades again. So to, uh, this video, I'll do a blade review uh, and also a very fun technical video on how to uh, use the blade in a uh, combat situation kind of thing. So here we go. This is the Kostu um, Kukri Machete. And da, why is it like that? <laughs> well, I can't stand the black coating, so I just stripped it off and want to make it silver looking, so it looks like that right now. Wow, it looks sexy, eh? It's not done yet, though. I just uh, roughly sanded it with sandpaper, uh, and I used paint stripper at first to, and uh, a uh, steel wire brush to brush off the black coating. And then you use sandpaper to uh, uh, sand it down, and it looks like that. It's kind of nice right now, though. It looks like a rough edge, and uh, yeah, it looks like you can use it for any rough purpose and stuff like that. Okay, so this thing here is huge, and you don't want to bring this down to this to uh, like when you're walking on the street, and you know, it's kind of weird, right? So there we go. Ah, I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> okay, so Coastal Raja 2. In case um, you guys don't know, this is another very nice pocket kukri kind of uh, blade from Coastal. And it's also uh, a stainless steel blade, but it's very nice and it feels very, very sturdy in hand. And the good thing is that you can grip here by the end, or you can grip higher up like that for... Uh, for this kind of job. Look at that. If you want to slice paper, you want to hold it up here so that you can slice. It's very sharp. Okay, scary sharp out of the box. And also the edge is very tough. Uh, okay, so soup can. No damage to the tip, but you can easily poke some holes. A second, let me stab it. So, yeah, you can see it's pretty scary. So, imagine that going into your uh, arm or something, eh? Pretty scary. So, here is the fun side about the uh, Coastal Raja 2 the um, lock mechanism, the back lock here. It's very, very easy to depress compared to the Coastal Recon one and stuff like that. Well, this one is like really smooth. You see, you can press and like that. For the other one, you need to take it apart, loop it and stuff like that, okay, to make it as smooth. This one is really smooth already. And also the edge is very thick. It's like the blade is made, made for tough use. And the good thing about this kind of shape here is that the curve gives you a very scary reach okay what you mean by scary reach is that for example you're going to attack or cut this thing okay for a normal curved blade you you will have to reach out here in order to cut and slice but this one you just have to go here and it will dip into the surface already so it like you need you need that kind of um, distance saving tactic with this kind of knife okay you don't need to go very far to really cut into the uh, target so here I would like to get into a second part of this video um, after showing off this nice blade and also the thumb stud stuff like that okay all that stuff okay, you can find these uh, on my other review of this blade but here I will talk about the combat side uh, with this kind of blade. Although you're not supposed to use the blade for combat, it's kind of like a fun thing to know in your mind uh, how these things work. So with a combat situation, you hold the blade by this end. Okay? You don't, The reason why you don't hold it up here is because you shorten the distance between you and the opponent. You hold down here low here like this so now you extend the reach this is the first thing the second thing is the position 
most people like to go like that. And then, you know, you open up the gap. Treat yourself here, okay, like a box. You close up, you close up your elbow. Don't make your elbow fly up like this, okay? Always close up. When people look at you, they will see that, oh, um, you're, you're enclosed, you're, you're hard to reach. You get what I mean? When you look at me right now, I go like that, you see there's all that space here for you to attack. And you know, you feel, like psychologically, you feel that you can attack. Right now when I go like that and clamp in, you look at me again, you don't want to come forward because you're going to hit the blade right here, see? You're going to hit here. If you just, Whoa! like that, you're going to bang it into the blade. Always keep your hands like that, okay? The foot, you can go one forward and one backward, or you can go whatever position you want. Make sure that, okay, right now I'm having my right foot forward and the right hand holding the knife. Now, there are four diagonals that you need to guard. One, two, three, four. It doesn't need to be all the way down here, okay? You just have to look and imagine there's a box. And always, okay, most people do not remember that your blade is sharp, okay? When you want to block something, like a hand, okay? You don't need to go, and then push it up. Just try to secure your structure by going like that and then keeping this close to your body so that when you push down, you see when you push here, it's not going to go down, right? So you reserve that space here, that kind of spring tension, okay? When you push here, it's not going to go down, you see? So you reserve that spring tension force to block. That's it. You don't need many uh, space to block, okay? Block, and you block with the edge diagonally upward to the left. Block. This hand here keep at the chest. The reason for that is to block and it also gives your hand a chance to push just to secure the arm in place. Right now you should feel here this spot is kind of um, pulling because you're putting up a nice structure to block while that the blade and your hand is forming a very sturdy structure to block off the attack from here. Even though, like even if it's a staff or pipe, you block like that, it's going to withstand the force. Some of you may criticize that saying that, oh, by blocking with the edge, it's going to dull the edge, damage the edge, whatever, okay? Uh, my reason for that here is that you can block with a little bit of skills, okay? By rolling over like a parry, parrying the edge. But for most people, because you're not trained to do that, the fastest and most efficient thing you can do is block straight up, like that, with a nice structure that you can withstand the force, okay? Who give a shit about your edge when you're in a life-threatening situation? The most important part is that that thing do not come through the line and to your head, right? As long as that works, it's fine, and coastal knife are well known for their dura uh, durability. So when you go like that and smash down, it's going, that lock is not going to fail on you like some liner locks out there. This thing is going to be very sturdy. And the other thing is if you don't hold up here, there's no chance of your hand silly and cunningly pressing on the lock mechanism. So there's zero chance of fail, failure for this kind of block. You want this block to be successful, okay? Keep your hand here, always here, and turn your body a little bit to the left to block. Now, everyone, blocking the right side is a little bit different. Because when you block like that, you don't have that structure like that. So, pay attention to the elbow. The right side, okay, the elbow, always have to sink down. While this twists upward like that. Okay and use, okay, because we are holding with the right hand, use your left leg to push onto the ground and push up here like they're going two direction. Push the left leg down and like that. This hand stays in the center. 
And while you push upward, keep the elbow sinking down and this hand here push up here. So now you create the different structure here to block. Okay. Never go like this. This is way too far. Okay. You don't want to waste time and energy. Just a little bit is fine. You see, a little bit. A little bit. It's no bigger than a dish. Remember, okay, the distance is no bigger than a dish. At home, when you guys want to try it, you can put a dish or a ball, whatever, circular in front of you, and your blade should never go over that little circle. See? Like that. When I'm in this position, you should also feel here, it's kind of having some tension because you're supposed to have that structure here. And if you got a friend, tell them to push you by the uh, fist here, push down. And you, if your elbows is right, okay, placed co properly, it should only re spring down and stop here, nothing more. If your elbows is up, the guy push, it's going to go like that. You see the problem? Okay, so today you learned the left and right block, like that. Okay, to follow up with an attack is easy. You go like that, okay, and then you slide down and point toward the, the target. Okay. You go like that, step forward and slide down. You don't need to go and chop, okay. Sometimes your opponent is more fragile than wood. <laughs> so when you block, you step up and just use the pointy tip to point forward. Use your body to step forward. You're stabbing with your body, not your arm or muscles. Okay, take a look. If I'm here, okay, I just block here, look sideways. See? See that big distance I just traveled by walking forward? Okay. So just by walking forward, you already stab. You don't need to use your hand to go like that and stab. Of course, if you're successful, you can always extend the hand to give it a second push or stab forward and twist like that to be more nasty. But there we go, we learned the two blocks. Okay? For the lower blocks, we need to talk about that in another video. But today you learned how to fight <laughs> uh, with a pocket quickly. It also works with a big one. Okay, it just takes a little bit more effort. Okay. One and forward. And you can go two and forward. You can also go push and use the edge to push into the neck. So these are combat tactics uh, kind of stuff. Okay. So I know it's not you know, it's against the law to use the knife to, you know, fight, kill someone, whatever. But then it's kind of fun to know about how the martial art part works. So, everyone, enjoy my video. Uh, free wall, share with your friends, whatever. Remember to subscribe and like. Tell me what you think about this new idea, new kind of blade review. And uh, let me know if you like it. If you like it, we'll keep it going. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.